Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. Once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So what is the solution? So on Monday, we talked a little bit about AI and why AI models were so terrible. And on our Tuesday, we talked a little bit about how it has something to do with attention. And then on Thursday, we talked a little bit about how the kind of attention, we grab attention with more negativity. So we are flooding, flooding the internet with negativity, even though underneath it all, and I just read a book by an author, I was called Humankind, I forget the author's name, but he gave lots of examples about how underneath it all, human beings are not that bad. We are not that bad underneath it all. Because if you think about it, I can give you the example that I gave you at the very beginning. When you teach a child to grow, that child can become a good person because you're interacting with that child one-on-one -on -one, and you wouldn't interact with that child the same way you would interact with people on the internet. And why is that? Why is that? Because we feel that we're, we can get away with the internet. If you feel that we can get, we can capture attention on the internet because we're more negative or because we scream louder. So how do we train our AI models? How do we train our AI models? If all of the communications that are on the internet today are basically people clamoring for attention and screaming louder and louder in negative ways. It's our fault. It's our problem. We've created these monsters. We've created this monstrosity because we have designed our systems so that the worst of human nature is shown instead of the best. So if you think about it, we are the parents of the internet. We are the parents of AI. We are the ones who have to speak to our AI and communicate to our AI as if they were children. We can't give them the corpus of human communications that's out there today and expect them to learn how to be good AI by looking at human beings and what they create today. We have overdone it with our negativity between each other because really underneath it all, we're not horrible. We're not terrible people. I mean, the biggest reason why we act like we're terrible people is because we want and crave attention. And their systems are currently designed in such a way that attention is difficult to impossible to get unless we're screaming negative epithets all the time. So a couple things could happen. First of all, we could change our algorithms. We could change our curation. Google, YouTube, all of these companies, Facebook, all of these companies that do curation need to change the way they dole out attention away from the negativity and be more balanced in the type of communication that they put out. If people are more balanced in communication, if attention, people capture attention through positive output, then maybe everyone will be more positive with each other. Like I said before, we are stewards of the internet. We are horrible to each other today on the internet, but if we want to stop being horrible to each other today on the internet, we have to personally stop being horrible. And I know we can't do much about the negative intuition. Like whenever we see something negative, that's going to definitely flag more for us. But the thing is we, we can evolve. We have a rational mind. We can change our mind to say, I'm going to be on the lookout for more positive affirmations, for more positive news. If I see something negative, I'll turn it off. I'll step away. I'll say, no, I don't want to see any more of this. We can tune our feeds to be more positive. And once we become more positive, once we realize it's us, we are parenting the internet. The communications that we throw out onto the internet, we have to make the conscious decision that we are not talking because if you think about it, you're not just talking to the other human being on the other side who you're arguing, having a Twitter argument with, 
some AI somewhere from some company is listening in on your conversations, your public conversations, and trying to figure out how to grow up, how to react, how to be a good bot to humans. So if we continue to set a horrible negative example, they're going to continue to be horrible bratty children. So we are the parents of the internet. We are the parents of the internet. And we're also the parents of the AIs that we're building. So we need to, if we really want our AIs to be better, we need to be better. Human beings need to be better. We need to be less negative. We need to clamor less. We need to scream less. We need to be nicer to each other. Once we're nicer to each other, then our bots can see how nice we are being to each other and emulate. You see what I'm saying? Some of the stuff that you would say online, you would never say to your kid. So now start saying the stuff that you're saying to your kid online. Treat others better online. And who knows where we can go. Not only will we be nice to each other and we'll tone down the amount of negative rhetoric that's on the internet, we'll also be able to better train AI models because the corpus of human interactions will be better. So there you go. Is that the solution? Will we be better? I don't know. It requires the 8 billion human beings on this planet who are really, underneath it all, pretty good people to decide to, when they communicate online, anonymously, anonymously or backed by, their, by themselves, by their authentic self, be good, be better. Don't be so negative because not only are the people who are watching you watching, AI models are learning from you as well. So if we want everything to be better, we have to be better. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.